All right, let's get into talking about your second stimulus payment update. This is in reference to the next stimulus bill that's going to be passed and what that payment's going to look like. So let's just get right into it. This is the chart that I gave you guys yesterday, and I'm going to be honest with you, there's a lot to change up today. So you're just going to have to sit back and relax, and I'm going to go through a lot of it, and it's going to be the most up-to-date information on proposals, percentage chances that these things are going to actually pass, and what you can expect as far as the next stimulus bill and the timeline of actually seeing that payout. Of course, if you like this kind of stuff and you want to be updated on it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have already, thank you for coming back. Glad to have you here. So let's talk about it. Yesterday, we said that the one-time $1,200 stimulus payment there's an 80% chance that that is going to be the one that they're going to do. I'm going to change up that today. You're going to see the change up. The back to work plan, there's a change up on that. And then I have these other ones, different, nothing, or reoccurring. So here's the deal. Because there's so much that has now changed in the last 24 hours, I'm going to switch the chart up slightly. It's going to look like this. You can see now that there's a number one, a number two, a number three, a number four, and a number five contender as far as the leading stimulus proposal for the American people. Let me go backwards with you right now. So let's look at contender number five. This is the least likely stimulus proposal and plan that's going to happen for the American people. It's the recurring stimulus payment plan, which is $1,000 or $2,000 a month, month to month for a certain period of time. I have that right now at a 1% chance of happening. I've previously had that at a 2% chance of happening. It's looking more and more unlikely. However, it is not a 0% chance because there's always the possibility that the COVID-19 infection rate can increase. There will be spikes and then this will become a real possibility again. Moving on to the number four contender, this is no stimulus. The idea that our Senate, that our government will in fact not pass another stimulus payment for the American people in some way, shape, or form, I have this at a 20% chance of occurring, one out of five. Most likely, they're going to pass a stimulus. So I don't think that this is a leading contender, but it's a possibility. 20% chance. Now we're getting into our top three, and this is where the big shift up is going to occur. If you've been a subscriber of mine, you're going to see the major differences right here. If you have not been a subscriber, consider subscribing so you can see these changes as they happen because we got another couple of months of this going on right now. With as slow as our government is, this whole stimulus package, this bill that they're working on, is not going to end anytime soon. The number three contender is the one-time $1,200 stimulus direct payment to Americans. That was previously the number one contender as the next stimulus to be given to you, the American people. It is now in my book, number three. And it was rightfully so number one last week and the week before that. And even three days ago, it's the one that's written into the HEROES Act. But I'm now putting it at number three and only a 50-50 shot of actually happening. There has been too much that has been coming out from senators, including Democratic senators and leaders in the Senate, including Republican leadership. And as time goes on, that this is becoming less and less likely. It doesn't mean that you're not going to see a stimulus payment in the future. It just might not be this one as far as I'm concerned. So what are the top two contenders that you might likely see at this point? The number two contender is this back to work stimulus plan. It is between either $200 to $600. They're going to debate this thing back and forth on how much it should be, how to implement it. I have it at a 60% chance of actually passing. We know Larry Kudlow said he's looking at this thing very seriously, this back to work stimulus idea, getting Americans to, to get off of unemployment and back into their jobs. And there's so much that they have to deal with with this. Like, what is the amount gonna be? How long are they gonna do this? Who's gonna get it? Is it gonna be for part-time workers or full-time workers? Are there gonna be wage restrictions on it? How are they gonna run it? How are they gonna pay that money? Are the employers going to pay the money? Is the government gonna give out debit payments to Americans through their automatic accounts. Is unemployment going to be stopped immediately? Are they going to combine this with another plan? I hate to sound like I'm rambling on and on, but this plan right now, that's the number two contender in my book, 
is not a very solid plan because it has too many working parts that are included within it. And when there's too many parts in a plan, I know in the back of my mind that this thing is not going to happen and or it's not going to happen correctly, which lends me to believe, even though I have this at a 60% chance of actually occurring, that it's probably not going to happen. I just think it's too complicated for our government to implement. I think there's too many pieces of the puzzle with the back to work stimulus plan that they will not be able to put it together correctly. And it won't happen for pure logistical reasons. There is a reason why they give a direct payment to Americans. It's simple. Even that simple plan, they messed up. They couldn't do that correctly. Never mind a back to work payment plan. So I don't think that one's going to happen, but I'm going to put it at a 60% chance because there's enough senators and leaders who like that idea. So that's where it's going to stand. So now we have a number one contender and this is the number one contender and you're hearing it here on this channel. Get ready to hear this word over and over and over again. You ready? It's the targeted quote unquote targeted stimulus payment to the American people. So what they're doing right now is they're running with this idea and not only Republicans, but Democrats too. We have Senator Ben Cardin and he's been coming out. His name has been coming out all over the news lately. He said this, I'd like to take a look at all the aid that we've provided and get good economic information on the value for that from the point of view of our economy, but more importantly, on fairness to people who are really hurt. This idea that there are some people who are really hurt, but not everybody. So this idea of another direct payment to most Americans, let's just look at who's really hurt. And then he also said this, and this is the big thing. I think the next round, we've got to be more targeted to those who are really in need. So I hope we can target this a little bit better to those who have been hit hard because of COVID-19. This is from a Democratic Senator, and he is a part of the Senate Finance Committee. In addition, the Senator who is a Democrat, who is the leader of uh, the senior leader of the Democratic Finance Committee, Senator Ron Wyden said, there is a little bit of debate on whether or not we send out a direct payment to Americans again. If there's a little bit of a debate for these Democratic leaders, there's no de debate for the Republican leaders. The chances of that happening, this direct $1,200 stimulus is less and less likely as time is going on. But this idea of this targeted stimulus payment is more and more likely. So what is a targeted stimulus payment? I got like a million pieces of paper here. What is a targeted stimulus payment? You ready? This is in my mind, this is what they're going to be looking at with this targeted stimulus payment. Number one, hazard pay. This is going to be a targeted stimulus payment to those Americans who are in jobs that the government deems quote unquote essential and are at a high risk of contracting COVID-19 because of the job they are in. So the government will determine who those individuals are and they will get a targeted stimulus payment. That's what this idea of targeted means. The next one, payroll tax credit. This is going to be targeted to the Americans who go back to work and who have a job. Obviously, when you have a job, you have to pay payroll taxes. This is primarily going to go to Social Security. And those payroll taxes are going to be either eliminated wholly or partly, depending on what the government comes up with. And this is going to put more money in the pockets of employees and the employers who have to pay them as well. So for example, if you make $1,000 a week, if you don't have to pay your payroll taxes, depending on how much the government decides to eliminate from the payroll taxes, you might not have to pay $77 more in your check. You might get to keep that $77 instead of paying it to payroll taxes, which is $308 per month for that employee if you make $1,000 a week. That's a targeted stimulus payment. Another one, unemployment. This is targeted to those who are still unemployed or previously employed, but their, their business went bankrupt completely. Maybe the government is going to uh, look at how to make unemployment a little bit more specific to those who really need it, not just the generally unemployed. You know what I mean? They're going to target that stimulus payment to the American people. No income and low income. They're going to look at no income and low income Americans, those who are earning less than $12,200 single filer or $24,400 as a joint filer. And they're going to say these individuals have been hit the hardest by this. Maybe. I don't know if they're going to say this. And they're going to target 
some stimulus payment for these individuals. Other, maybe other groups of Americans, specific groups of individuals in certain locations, certain jobs, certain economic statuses who need targeted stimulus payment. Here's the idea. This targeted is not a lump direct payment to the American people like the CARES Act was where everyone got that $1,200 payment, $500 for the kids, the dependents, and, and on and on and on, that $400 billion program. This targeted thing is a lot different in the eyes of our Congress people. And get ready to hear this over and over again. This is the number one leader right now. Where's my piece of paper? Targeted stimulus payments, 75% chance in my mind that this is what they're going to come up with. Some sort of targeted stimulus to the American people. The number two contender, back to work stimulus. I personally think it's way too complicated in the back of my mind. I don't think that one's ever going to happen. It sounds wonderful. I just don't see our government ever being able to actually implement something like this. They could barely pay us $1,200 to our bank accounts, and they already had our information on file. Never mind this. You and I both know they're not going to be able to do this, and if they can, it'll be a miracle. Number three, that one-time $1,200 payment. I got to still have it on there because it's the only one that's actually in the HEROES Act. So you still got to get it at a 50-50 shot. But man, do we see our leaders starting to pull away from this idea. I really only see this becoming higher in percentages if COVID-19 or coronavirus seems like it's getting worse over time. So I figured I'd share these with you. Now I'm not done because the timeline has changed too. If you want to stick with this video here, I got about a couple minutes left. This is the timeline because not only are these proposals changing up for the stimulus to the Americans, but the timeline is too because they're taking their time, literally. Our senators are waiting back. Remember they said they were going to pause, they were going to wait and see what the economic condition was like? Well, they are definitely doing that. The Senate is back in session on June 1st, this Monday, June 1st. But it doesn't look like they're going to be talking about stimulus plans for the American people on June 1st. Matter of fact, Mitch McConnell said that he's pretty settled on talking about stimulus payments in the end of June sometime. So I don't think that they're going to take up this stimulus payment talk until June 15th or June 22nd. So we might even go the entire month of June without hearing much out of our senators, even though I, we can tell that these are the leading contenders right now. We can just see it written all of all over their comments on what's actually happening. Again, if you appreciate all this information, please subscribe to the channel. I know I'm stopping myself here, but I'm going to keep doing this. We're going to keep going through this, and I'm going to load it up like this every single time with these simple sort of categories to make it as easy to understand as possible. Once the Senate takes up the bill, they're going to debate it. They're going to change it, and that's going to happen between June 15th and June 26th. So they're not even going to vote on it until June 26th. And this is the best case scenario. Look at my title up there, best case scenario. They might even take their time more than I'm actually giving them here on this timeline. Then if they pass it, the House is going to have to take it up. And they basically have three voting days in their schedule, which is between June 30th and July 2nd. So they have to first off like the bill that the Senate just passed. And if they like it and they're okay with it, then they'll pass it between June 30th and July 2nd. But what are the chances that the democratically run House of Representatives is going to like the Senate bill run by the Republicans. Doesn't seem like it's going to be very high in my mind that they would. So why would they pass it between June 30th and July 2nd if they don't like it? Maybe by some miracle they will pass it on July 2nd, and then the president will sign it July 3rd, which means if there is any stimulus payment included, one of these top five contenders, nobody's going to even see it until July 15th to August 12th. Best case scenario. Talk about the government, slow as molasses with their ideas. I mean, this is why the one-time payment is so significant. It's easy, it's simple, it's fast. It's stimulus in the American people's pocket right away. People are going back to work, give the Americans money. But instead, this is the mess that we have. Please don't give me, a, if you gave me a thumbs down already on the video because you don't like all this stuff, please, it's not my fault. I'm just putting it together for you. All right. I just want to give you the information that I know is accurate. So please give it a thumbs up for all the work and the information there and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep you guys up to date on this. I hope you guys found the information valuable. As always, I will catch you next time.